provides important financial information from Lazar and Associates. Featuring Donovan Lazar, accomplished financial expert. Having led investment seminars worldwide, sharing his Wall Street experience with many thousands, stay tuned and he'll share his winning approach to creating wealth with you. I've been working with Donovan Lazar for about the last two years, and I would highly recommend him to anyone. He's done a fabulous job for me, and he's put me right on track. Lazar and Associates, financial advisors. Lazar plays hard and wins. Knowledge, preparedness, community commitment, a roadmap leading to comfort and peace of mind. Are you confident about your future? My clients ask me, who do I use for my personal and financial needs? I tell them Donald and Nazar. Over the last six or seven years, he's invested money for me. He's taken care of my retirement, my investment accounts. Uh, his integrity is high. His experience, both on Wall Street, the international marketplace, and running seminars, puts him heads and shoulders above everybody else. Uh, nobody can touch his experience. Nobody can touch his integrity. And now, Donovan Lazar. My mission is to facilitate financial access for your dreams and goals. That's what I do. Let's talk about asset allocation. Uh, this is one of the most important parts of investing. Uh, where most people are with asset allocation is 60% uh, equities, 30% bonds, 10% cash. That, that's your standard asset allocation model. The problem with that is it, it leaves a lot of things out. It leaves things to be understood. Asset allocation means you should be allocated amongst a group of asset classes. Within the equities market, there's what's called the nine box. The nine box is are different asset classes amongst the equities market. And what equities are are stocks, so that we have a better understanding there. The nine box comprises large cap stocks, mid cap stocks, small cap stocks. Then within those, you have value stocks, blended stocks, and growth stocks. So what we look to do is we look to allocate your assets amongst those nine different asset classes. Where most people's money is, is placed is in large cap value and large cap growth stocks. Uh, there's been a number of studies shown. One of them shows that 61% of all equity mutual fund investors have their money in large cap value and large cap growth mutual funds or stocks. The problem with that is the highest performing sector or asset class has been small cap value. The second highest performing has been mid cap value. The third highest performing mid cap blend, then you have large cap value. So if the majority of your money is put into simply large cap value and large cap growth, you're denying yourself proper allocation amongst the other asset classes. So what we do is very simple. We'll determine your risk tolerance. What that means is we will simply help you to define what's best for you, what will help you to invest properly, and to be able to be comfortable with the choices that you make. We will also determine your time horizon. Time horizon is very specific. How much time do you have in your particular lifetime for these investments? Some people have five years, some people have ten years. Everybody's a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those two components which are going to help us to determine what is the proper allocation model for you. There have been a number of studies done on asset allocation and the importance of why it makes sense, how it works, and the profitability behind it. Uh, one in particular study done by Dalbars has shown that equity fund investors over, the, over a 19-year period, earned 2.57% annually. Now, that, that's against inflation that was up 3.14%, and the S&P 500, which is an index of the top 500 companies, that earned 12.22%. So the fact is, is when you break this down, equity investors have actually lost money based on the inflationary number. There have also been other studies done, uh, one in particular that has shown that 93.6% of profitability is due to asset allocation. 
So you have a number of PhDs, a number of financial professors, financial wizards out there that have shown that with proper asset allocation, you can be more profitable. What most people try to do is they try to time the market in one way or the other. Basically, there are two ways to do that. We can be what's called a bottom fisher. We're finding the investment choices that have been down for a year or a number, number of years. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to buy those for the following, for the following upswings. Or we can find the best performing investments. We can find the asset class that has done the best over the last year or number of years. And we can purchase those for the following number of years or how, however far we're going out. The problem is that both of these investment choices have underperformed pure asset allocation. If you look at, a, at an investment periodic chart of, of different asset classes, what you will notice is that each of these asset classes have never outperformed in a, con, in a number of consecutive years other asset classes. For instance, small cap growth stocks were the highest performing asset class in 2003. Well, guess what? In 2002, they were the lowest performing asset class. Occasionally, you will get an asset class that, that has one or two consecutive years where they are on top. But the problem is, is that when they are on the bottom, so are you if you're not properly allocated. So what we do is we help you to properly allocate amongst all of the asset classes. I've known Donovan over the last seven years, and during that time, uh, not just a friend to me, but an investor to me. He's been able to help me and do different things that I've not been able to do myself. Uh, and as far as that, expand my horizon as far as my investments. Uh, I would highly recommend him at any time to be working with anybody that he could as far as their money. He has been a great guy uh, and he has been very careful in investing my money. You know what me. I like about Donovan is his ability to get things done. You know, he's really detail oriented and he really took the time to sit down with me and actually go through my financial plan. And I really, I really got that he was really focused on me and what it was that I was up to in life. And it really felt good to be sitting down with somebody who was really well gr gr grounded in exactly what I needed to take a look at. He took in consideration my family, my long-term goals, and we were able to sit down and really make a plan that really worked for me and I've been doing it now for a couple of years and I really see the value in it. And before I was going uncoached, on my own, really didn't work out for me, you know, kind of hit and miss. But really having somebody with their pulse on the marketplace and, and directing me in the direction that I needed to go. Returning now to Iraq in a situation the bond market is no different. Once again, you have a nine box within the bond market. You have short-term bonds, intermediate-term bonds, long-term bonds. Then you have tax-free bonds, you have corporate bonds, you have high-yielding bonds, you have government bonds. So you have a number of options within the bond market. So once again, based upon your risk tolerance, your time horizon, we are able to determine what part of your portfolio that is in bonds and what part of your portfolio should be in certain types of bonds. So for most people, being properly allocated among stocks and bonds would be good enough. The fact of the matter is there are two other asset classes that we must look at to be properly allocated. The first one is real estate investment trusts. So what is a real estate investment trust? Commonly known as REITs. Real estate investment trusts uh, trade publicly and there's also privately held real estate investment trusts. What these do is they give us a non-correlated investment gives us sheer asset allocation because there is no correlation. It gives us a hedge against inflation. It gives us income, capital appreciation, and certain tax advantages. So this should absolutely be a part of most people's portfolios. Now, there are many, many ways to get involved in real estate without actually going out and buying a triplex or a commercial building or a duplex or, or just a specific income property. We show people real estate investment trusts that give them the choice to be in the real estate market without having to not only manage the property, but to put up, put up a significant amount of money to get into the property. So these are a way for people to diversify into non-correlated investments and still reap significant gains. Real estate investment trusts 
have been shown over the last 20 years to be one of the top performing asset classes. And again, this is something that most people don't have an opportunity to view. Summing it up, real estate investment trusts not only give us income, capital appreciation, potential tax advantages, but they also give us a hedge against inflation and they give us a non-correlated investment which will absolutely balance our asset allocation model. As a mortgage loan officer, many of my clients, um, I find they are in need of some guidance when it comes to their investments, um, whether it be 401ks for them or um, college planning, retirement. Uh, I have handed over my entire client list to Donovan Lazar and have been quite pleased with the uh, results. My clients are very happy with his performance. Not only did uh, most of them feel like they were diversified and had their assets covered, uh, in most cases they are not. And Donovan was able to show them the path to really diversifying their assets and making sure that they are covered for the period in which they need to be covered for it. Whether it be a young couple planning their retirement, planning their college fund, uh, he's able to really dig in, find out what they want, what they need, and then tailor make a program for them. Uh, he's not your cookie cutter uh, investment guy. He really has the experience. He's uh, helped my stepfather out. He's helping my father out. He's helping my mother out. And uh, not only in just investments, but also organizing trust so that the families are protected. Uh, I have been so impressed with the feedback. Most people are, you know, wanting to stay with who they have. Uh, I tell them, you know, 15 minutes with Donovan doesn't cost you a dime. Why not find out a different perspective? And in all cases, they come right back to him. You know, all he asks is that if you use his ideas, that you use him. And that's fair. I mean, that is something you just don't see in this business very often. Thank you for viewing the video portion of the CD-ROM. Uh, there are a few sections that weren't covered on the video portion but are covered on the audio portion and are made available through PowerPoint presentations that we have put on the CD-ROM and I highly encourage you to take a look through those because they are important aspects to investment planning. And once again, thank you very much for taking the time out and I look forward to speaking to you soon. money and for his clients me and my sister and my mom and he's a really great guy my dad works really hard for everyone and he has a cute puppy that he loves he's a good doggy very good